What's going on, everybody? So today we are back and we have an exciting, exciting video because we get to purchase our second set of masteries here. We've been uh, progressing quite nicely. You can see here, we're only three days away from High Katoon, um, which is super, super necessary. I've been struggling a lot in Arena because, as I mentioned, getting to Gold 1, easy. Very easy to do. Once you get to Gold 1, it's super, super rough because you basically can't beat any of the teams unless you have some sort of speed boost. You can outspeed them. Even then, it's hard because they just are too tanky for us to burst down. We just need better gear. <clears throat> and uh, unfortunately, I, I have no choice but to go to gold one. I tried to stave it off and like let my arena tokens recharge, but I'll often cap out before I drop down far enough. And so I'll use my arena tokens between like free refresh, the five tokens you get, and all this stuff. You just have so many tokens that you are guaranteed to push towards a gold one if you're using them every single day um, and you don't lose most of your battles. So it's kind of where we're at um, in terms of arena. Uh, as for the rest of the account, again, I've just been sitting here and, and pushing. I got a little bit of levels on my characters. I have triple ascended Kunoichi, triple ascended duck, which is awesome. Um, and uh, I've been getting them a little bit higher in level and all that type of stuff. But I really have just been focusing on everything but uh, or all the different events that are going on because you can see here in these events, we have a champion training event going on, which means that we have to go and get some levels and rank upgrades for our epic book. This is just basically this, the life of a free to play player, guys. You just have to go and do all the events if you want to progress at a steady rate. And uh, unfortunately, that means that we have to go. Well, I guess fortunately and unfortunately, that means we have to transition to more um, books and more things like that. But I'm actually going to dump my final book into Kunoichi so I can just finish that off. Just be happy about it. I finished finally a fully booked character and we got that last tick of ally protection. Um, I haven't booked out Ultimate Death Knight yet. I was hoping for a champ training tournament before I start using a bunch of books. And so I'm going to wait off on that one because if we're just going for champion training right now, it's not going to really change anything. But as for masteries today, this is the exciting part. We can finally purchase a second set of masteries, and I'm going to go for Ultimate Death Knight. The reason for this is um, we're going to be able to get the uh, extra shielding for Shield Bearer. We're going to get the extra Lore of Steel for some extra accuracy, extra speed, which will help him a little bit. We'll get a little extra accuracy in general. And then we're going to get extra turn meter uh, buffs from when we get all of our, his buffs down. Lasting Gifts is going to extend that buff. A uh, little bit of extra speed, etc. All of this is just going to help him out. It's all just going to help him out. So let's go ahead. I'm going to move myself in the middle here so you guys can just see what masteries I'm going to go for. And let's go ahead and just pick up all of them. Uh, let's get all the scrolls. 800 diamonds. Boom. Officially completed. I'm actually going to pick up crit damage because I might build some crit rate and crit damage here for him. Um, I'm not sure on this right hand or left hand side. Maybe it's better to go for uh, a couple of things. I guess I should move myself over to the right hand side so you guys can see what I'm going for here. Uh, I'm thinking about clan boss and I'm thinking about dungeons, right? I probably won't be using him as a farmer for the most part. Maybe I will later on. Maybe. So maybe that's something to consider. Um, we're going to go. He's most likely not going to be full HP. Um, single out's not a bad one. Life Drinker is probably not a bad one either. Um, let's see. We're going to go with the shield effect for sure. I don't know about Lay on Hands. Probably just go for um, Charge Focus for Arena because I, you do prioritize his second skill. I don't think any of these other ones at the top are, are particularly important. Um, value of Shields, definitely going with that one. We also have the Turn Meter when a debuff cast. And we also have extra accuracy then we have extra turn meter i kind of like rapid response but it does kind of mess up the clan boss tuning which is something i might want to consider let's go ahead and go with swarm smiter then we can go with evil eye evil eye is definitely something that we're going to want to go with and then we're definitely going to want to go with lore of steel because we do have um like uh, resilience set on him i believe no, just double perception, which, of course, that works great as well. You can see in the total stats here, masteries, speed, we get one speed, and we get 22 accuracy for masteries, um, which is very, very nice uh, between Lore of Steel and uh, the extra pinpoint accuracy. Super, super nice there. We can go with Spirit Haste for extra speed when people are dead. Um, we could also go with Master Hexer or Sniper. Um, what is his chance to apply Provoke? We have... 50% chance, like a buff up to a 55% chance. I don't really care for that one. 
Uh, Lasting Gift is solid. Master Hexer is solid. I think I'll go with Spirit Haste. Mm. <laughs> I think I'll go with Spirit Haste and it will go with Lasting Gifts because I do want to try out some solo content with Ultimate Death Knight. I can't do a free refresh here, so I'm not too worried about it um, later on. Uh, Whirlwind of Death is a consideration as well as Single Out. I'm going to go with Life Drinker. Yeah, I'm going to go with Life Drinker. And uh, we have here with targets with my higher max HP, definitely go with that because of Clan Boss. Uh, definitely want to go with that one. And then we're going to have Kill Streak, or do we want Methodical? Definitely Methodical or Clan Boss. And then we can go with War Master. Boom. All right. So it's going to be the Masteries. Maybe I messed up something. Maybe you guys disagree with that at all. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you guys do. I finally completed this quest. We finally have three Tier 2 Masteries. I can pick up the energy and start progressing these quests again. Um, I was kind of stalling on that because, well, I didn't want to, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to, uh, go and farm Minotaur. I, that's it. That's it. But, uh, I do want to try out some clan boss. You can see here, guys, I have two keys. I was able, I'm able to do one key normal, get about 7 million damage previously. Um, let's see what this boot is. Sell that. And then I'm actually able to three key hard, um, is what I've been doing. You can see I only got two keys in there, but I actually want to see what we're able to do now with this additional mastery. So let's go ahead and just run a clan boss run here and see what we're able to do. I'm hoping I can able, I'm able to one key or two key hard. Previously, I'm able to get about 5 million damage with um, the singular masteries that I have in the current team comp. So that's that was going pretty well. The hope here, again, is that I'm able to two key hard at the minimum and then or one key if I'm quite lucky. I don't think I'll be able to one key hard. That seems unlikely. Um, but uh, we'll have to see. Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll get uh, reasonably lucky with some some procs or something and I'll be able to one key it. Uh, I, I do have to up my accuracy on Aethel a little bit to make sure she's landing that weekend. Uh, I do have weekend on basic for Kunoichi here, which is quite nice. The weekend's actually incredibly important because it's going to up the proc damage for Warmaster and Giant Slayer. So absolutely necessary to apply weakened here. And unfortunately, she gets resisted quite often. Everyone else lands their debuffs because I have enough accuracy on everyone um, except for Aethel here. But uh, it's going pretty quite nicely. And I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead because you guys don't want to watch, you know, I don't know, 10 minutes of Clan Boss. It's going to take a while. So I'll be right back so we can see what kind of damage. I'm hoping that we can double our Clan Boss damage here. So you can see here, we actually only did about 600k damage with Ultimate Death Knight. Um, we were previously doing about like 60k damage. So we did up it by about 500k um, on hard here, which wasn't as much as I was hoping for, but it did help us a decent amount. The thing is with Ultimate Death Knight is uh, when we don't have a lot of speed on him, he's not taking a bunch of turns, and we don't have life steal on him, he's not able to stay alive for the long period of time, and he actually ends up dying earlier on into the run. So we're going to have to modify him for a life steal build going forward. Hopefully we go life steal perception. Unfortunately, I don't have any life steal pieces of gear. I've uh, I only have this one with like a four star accuracy. You can see behind me. So that's the only unfortunate part about that. Um, we could have done like Drex, we could have done Kunoichi, we could have done Duck, but I think all of them would have had the same problem. And I'd rather have the Masteries for other dungeons, uh, specifically the extra shield air, uh, viability and some extra accuracy for Arena. So I think that's going to be better overall. But uh, definitely want to get Drex next and then Duck and then Kunoichi. Uh, those are going to be my three next ones. And hopefully going forward, we're going to be able to go ahead and start farming Minotaur soon. That'll be really, really amping up our progress uh, and be able to give me a little bit more control. But I definitely want to start farming some gear. I'm going to try to do some dragon as well once I reach that quest and we're going to change uh, up our gear. We have to farm an absolute buttload of dragon. When you're beginning the game, you want toxic sets for clan boss. You want lifesteal sets. You want speed sets. You want accurate sets. You have the four top most wanted sets, I think, in the entire game for the beginning game. When you start getting later on, you can start going for crit damage. You can start going for shield for, uh, for regeneration. Um, you can start going for savage and all these pieces that are good for like arena nuking or just building later game teams. But uh, in the early game, Dragon 1000% is just the best sets in the game for you. So definitely want to start getting cracking on some Dragon and we're going to see what we can do with that. So Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I, I'm a little disappointed in the clan boss amping up. I thought it would be a little bit more, but uh, I understand why it's not. And hopefully I can modify it going forward and seeing if I can get some extra upgrades. Masteries are number one priority early game, along with getting six stars. So we'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like the video, sub to the channel. I'll see you all tomorrow.